Hello and welcome here. Something interesting in the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania post credits sequence was shown in behind the scenes photos, and that is a lizard-like Kang variant. Kang the Conqueror, played by Jonathan Majors, was the main adversary of Ant-Man 3 and was therefore positioned to be the main antagonist of the multiverse saga. Both of the movie's post credits sequences supported that notion by showcasing a variety of potent Kang variants that will become more prominent in the years to come. The Council of Kangs came together for the first time in the Marvel Cinematic Universe during the mid-credits sequence, with Immortus, Rama Tut, and Scarlet Centurion leading the group as they bemoaned the actions of Ant-Man 3's major antagonist against Team Ant-Man. These Kang variants were only a portion of what reviewers and viewers found so bizarre about the post-credits sequences, which established Kang as a significant threat for the near future. Fans were able to view a special variant of Kang the Conqueror that debuted in the mid-credits sequence of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania thanks to Twitter user Mr. Krasinski. This specific variation looks to most closely resemble the Council of Kang's character from Marvel Comics, which can be seen in the top right corner of the released photo. Whether Majors actually portrays this kind of Kang is unknown, but it has a lizard-like look with slit nostrils and scaly skin. The performer wore a full face design and a Kang style clothing, suggesting that this appearance was entirely created using prosthetics rather than CGI. Even Kang's famous scars are there on the mask, but this time they are golden yellow to complement the lizard variant's blue skin. A digital drawing of this specific variation was also included in the post, demonstrating how it contrasts with Jonathan Major's more human face. At the stadium where the gang originally met in the mid credits sequence of Ant Man 3, this lizard-like Kang was one of the most noticeable characters to be seen. And while though it's yet unclear whether this particular variant will be featured more prominently in the films, Kang took all the necessary steps to establish himself as a serious danger to the Avengers. The second season of Loki, which is already scheduled to include Victor Timely from Ant-Man 3's second post credits sequence, will shortly feature these variants once again. Following that, only time will tell what more Kang personalities may force their way on the MCU. As Avengers The Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars get closer to their release dates, the number of Kang personas should significantly increase. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.